in the courtyard of the castle in Cornwall, Connecticut at the end of Coltsfoot Valley. There is so much to show you, so much to tell you. I want to get started. Let's get on with it. First, let me describe the general layout. The property is offered with 200 acres, but the owner has more, almost a thousand. And all of these directly abut thousands of acres of open space, either state forest or private land trust. It's also important to mention that the owner has not been here for over a year, so the grounds do need some attention. The drive-in is a mile long and it runs along a brook and some pastures. About halfway in, there is a gatehouse with two apartments, each with two bedrooms, a fireplace in the living room, a kitchen. Next to that is the skeleton of what was a fabulous stone barn that burned a few years ago. The stone walls still stand. Behind that is a luxurious three-stall horse barn, it undamaged by the fire. As the drive continues past waterfalls and ponds, the castle appears. Let me give you a little history. The castle was finished in 1925, and it's the creation of Charlotte Bronson Huntwell, who married Dr. Walter Martin in 1920. They had long been lovers before that, and Charlotte had some experience in real estate. In 1918, she purchased 19 New York brownstones, a whole city block between 2nd and 3rd Avenue and 48th and 49th Street. She redid them all and created common gardens in the back. It's known as Turtle Bay. Catherine Hepburn bought one, and so did E.B. White. Actually, E.B. White wrote Charlotte's Web there and came up with the name Charlotte from Charlotte Bronson Huntwell. Dr. Walter Martin married Charlotte in 1920. He was a chief surgeon at St. Luke's Hospital. He had amassed a large holding in Cornwall and Charlotte fell in love with it. They started building the castle in 1920 and finished it in 1925. They call it a chateau in the narrow valley. Everybody else in Cornwall calls it the castle. In addition to the main house, there is a guest house with a wall garden and pool, a six car garage with a two bedroom apartment above it. highlight of the castle is the courtyard. Stone arches, stone staircases, a large fireplace, a fountain, views of brooks and waterfalls on all sides. Fabulous spot for small or large gatherings. Inside, the center hall leads to the dining room, the library, and the living room. The walnut paneled dining room has wide board curly maple floors, very unusual. And in size, it's 33 feet long and about 15 feet wide. It has original leaded glass windows, beautiful, and very tastefully done storms. You hardly see them. The study also has a fireplace, herringbone brick floor, which is beautiful, and hand-painted beams. The nicely proportioned great room is 45 feet long and about 20 feet wide and 15 feet high and again has a heavily beamed ceiling. Their windows are sliding doors on three sides and a very large fireplace on the fourth side. It opens to the courtyard. Beautiful room. There is an elevator from basement to the third floor, but the staircase is grand. There is a large master 
the connecting study and two baths. Then there are another three guest bedrooms, all en suite, and two more bedrooms with baths for staff. On the third floor is a bedroom for a nanny and sleeping room for grandkids, three beds in that. The third floor also has a sauna right next to the elevator. An easy ride from the master bedroom. In the basement, there are two new furnaces. One uses oil, the other uses propane. You get to choose with a switch on the wall which you want to heat the whole house. There is a whole house generator, so you don't have to worry about power outages. Unfortunately, the pool and its hot tub have not been opened yet, but it and its wall garden are simply perfect. You have to imagine the place groomed. The one bedroom guest house opens directly on the garden. That was a lot, wasn't it? There is so much to see. Everywhere you turn, there's a special little vignette that's got to be looked at. I'd love to show it to you in person. All it takes is a phone call. I look forward to it. Thanks.